Uh, my name is Sabrina Moore and I'm here because my dad is currently um, in his multiple stint in rehab. Um, he has a drug addiction and my dad's been a drug addict when I was, you know, two, he was in jail. Um, I know him and my mom were drug addicts when I was born, and so. Um Um, when he came home, it was fabulous. He, by the time he came home, um, he lived with me. Um, we then went on and I got married and we bought a house together. We bought an apartment complex together and he lived in one side and I lived in the other. Um, and it was fabulous. It was a really, really good life. And then he started using drugs um, back in 2002 in October. Um, and that very much affected me because I was living there. Um, you know, and it was very slow. It, first and then it became a very large thing part of his life um, I ended up moving out to Dover um, it was a huge financial hardship also a drug addict um, off and on um, to both of them I think you take over a parenting role and I think you take on a defensive role because both of your parents naturally you know and some people may not feel this way about their parents if they're drug addicts but my parents I love them very much um, my dad's probably one of my favorite people because when he's not a drug addict he's the most amazing person um, very helpful great hard worker really a good ethic will help anyone will do anything for anyone um, so he really truly is a role model my dad that is um, n not using, that's clean, um, is a really hard worker. Um, he's really just want to be around. He's got a great energy. Um, he does, you know, he works harder than anyone I think I've ever met in my life. Um, and he's someone you can call on, you want to just talk to. You know, he's someone you just want to be with. But my dad, that's a drug addict. Um, he is. You know, I think this last time it was someone, you know, for me to say I didn't want to talk to my dad, I didn't. You know, I had no interest in talking to him. Um, I think I stand by my dad because I don't, I, I couldn't imagine not. Um, I couldn't imagine, you know, being one of those people that turns their back on someone that needs help. So that's, you know, why I stand by, you know, and not, I don't have to. Um, I could have walked away years ago and just said, you know, I'm done. But, um, and he, he really, if he was someone that, you know, he, I wouldn't consider him a drug addict. I, I very well know he is. And I think I've never seen my dad ever do as well and be as good of a person. Um, when he came out of prison last time, he went to church for the first time. Um, and I really, this time seeing him go to church and be with those people was the best I've ever seen him. So I think the most important thing is to not let him think he's a failure. Um, I know my sister often kind of encouraging him, letting him know what he is doing is good, and not letting him think that he's letting me down or he's failing me because he's not, you know, he's, you know, I, I always say, you know, it's kind of been a rough road to get to this point in life, but I really wouldn't change any part of my life because I really, you know, I like where I am, you know, it would have been great if my parents weren't addicts and, you know, but I didn't have to struggle with that, so I think it made life a lot easier. And I think he was ready. Um, very ready to get to be at this point um, um, so I think that's a huge thing is you know he feel he's one of those people he feels like he can save everyone um, and I've been saying to him for about a year now 